Hey guys, this is the Lido Kala Engineer LII 500 4 channel battery cell charger. It comes with the charger, a tiny little manual that's really hard to read, a car 12 volt socket adapter, and a 100 to 240 volt AC wall adapter that outputs 12 volt DC up to 2 amps and the cable length is about uh, 1 meter long. On the front of the charger we have a vent on top then we have four sliding spring loaded contact points for the battery slots, uh, four buttons to select each of the four channels, a mode button to select between charge, fast test and normal test, a curtain button to select between 300, 500, 700 and 1000 milliamp charge weight rates, a backlit LCD screen that will display all the data for the selected channel. This includes battery voltage, battery capacity, elapsed time and internal resistance. On the rear, there is a USB output and a 12 volt DC input. On the back of the unit, there is a specification list showing the variety of battery sizes it can charge in the nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, and lithium ion variety. There are three charging modes charge, fast test, and normal test. In normal mode, it only charges your battery. Just put in your battery and in 8 seconds it will automatically start charging your battery at 500 milliamps. If you want to charge faster, then press and hold the mode button until you see the charge light flash, then select a different current rating. In fast test mode, it will discharge then recharge your battery and when it's done it will display the charge capacity. The rate of discharge will be different from the rate of charge. 250 milliamp discharge is used when 300 or 500 milliamp charge rate is selected. 500 milliamp discharge is used when 700 and 1000 milliamp charge rate is selected. Even though this is called fast test, it will still take a long time to complete, depending on the capacity of your cells. Next, we have normal test. In this mode, it will charge, discharge, then recharge your bat battery. When it's done, it will display the discharge capacity, which will be a better way to measure the actual capacity of your battery. The discharge rates are the same as in fast test mode and expect this mode to take even longer than fast tests because of the extra step in the process. You will notice after plugging in your battery, it will display a uh, MR reading here. This is the internal resistance of the battery in mega ohms. I wouldn't get too caught up in these readings as they can change based on the battery age, capacity, state of charge, and temperature. The USB output doesn't work when the AC adapter is plugged in. It acts like a USB power bank where at least one lithium ion battery is in any one of the slots and will be active when the USB symbol is displayed. And no, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium batteries will not enable the USB output. And also, the max output of the USB is rated at only 1 amp. Overall, I feel this is a good value charger. The main reason I bought this charger is its ability to test the battery and tell you its capacity. It's also easy to use, fast, comes with an AC adapter, and can be used in a car. It does have some features that don't work well, like the USB output. With a 1 amp rating and only being able to use when the batteries are attached, make it pretty useless. Also, the internal resistance measurement should be taken with a grain of salt. There will be links in the video description to where you can buy this. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and thank you for watching. Bye.